than a barrel of monkeys. A barrel of drunken monkeys recapping the game. Bingo. It's your Toucher and Rich Drunken Red Sox recap Bingo. on 98.5 The Sports Hub. 98.5 The Sports Hub. Let's say 59 degrees and 903 in the city of Boston. Look for highs in the high 80s. Hey, everybody. Today is a day that might be so nice that it, it insists on upon cocktails during the afternoon. Yep, let's over. Let's have a beer. Yeah, it, 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 in the afternoon, I, I I have to go home and, and, and sleep. But this is a uh, this is a day that this is a day where you might not be mind being out at Fenway for four hours. Well, there's a bar within close proximity that we all went to on Friday that probably packed right about now. Well, we went to a bar on Friday uh, after the show. Obviously, we. Uh, uh, wanted to have some drinks, and uh, it was 10 o'clock in the morning, and the place was packed. Absolutely and, packed. And something tells me that the patrons that were there on Friday were probably also there on, well, Thursday, Wednesday. What Tuesday. would it make you have think that? <laughs> the teeth? <laughs> the fact that a guy got out of a little rascal at the door and then proceeded to drag the little rascal into the establishment? And then kind of walk around just fine? Yeah. Wonder what he was up to. All right, uh, Adolfo Gonzalez is at every home game, and if you see him, please leave him alone. He's just got it really tough. He only got <laughs> seven hours of sleep during the day yesterday. Adolfo was out ta- five. He says okay. He was out uh, talking to the people after the Sox game. Let's hear what happened. Is it okay we use this for the radio? Sure, sure. What's your name? Mark. Oh. oh! Thank you. With the uh, faster guy. Faster, faster, faster. Thank you with the dance floor. Do you think he would miss opening weekend? Or opening week? You course. He was out there in full effect. Oh, well, this is uh, a good day. Of course, the faster guy. Overly populated that it will tip over and... uh... And capsize. Oh, I'm sorry. That's uh, Congressman Hank Johnson talking <laughs> about Guam. And if you put 8,000 soldiers on it, that the island will capsize. All right, here we go. Is it okay we use this for the radio? Sure, sure. What's your name? Mark. All right. So uh, what do you think about uh, the Red Sox playing at Fenway finally? Oh, uh, yeah. It's finally season. They won their game uh, day before yesterday. Tomorrow will be even better. Now, why is that? Why, why do you think that's going to be? Um, the players they use for this for tomorrow's game are far more superior. Now, what makes the uh, tomorrow's players so much better? Uh, I guess they're older. <laughs> a day, you know what? You can gain a lot of experience over two days. Yes. They're two days old. That's right. They've learned from their mistakes of their lifetime. Yeah. You know, they're a little older, a little wiser. Now, who do you think is going to look good uh, tomorrow? Uh, hopefully, Red Sox. You know, if not, you know, it'll probably rain if if they don't win. You know, and that's uh, that's how it usually goes. So, you know. Yeah. It, how many times have you been watching the Weather Channel and they go, <laughs> "Look for a sunny, look for a clear night," and then you see the Red Sox lose? Yeah. Locusts sometimes have been known to happen. What do you think about Beckett having his contract extended? It was re-standard or with-standard? Uh, it was uh, extended. Like, he uh, got four more oh, years. Way to go, yeah. <laughs> I just turned. My baby's withstanding. Way to go, yeah. <laughs> How all of Red Sox Nation responded when they found out about Beckett's extension. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just been re-standard. Way to go, yeah. All right. Thank you. Faster guy. Yeah. Now, do you think uh, Beck- <laughs> he's got one of the trails out? You sound pretty excited about that. Yeah. Now, do you, now, do you think uh, Beckett was worth it? Uh, sure. Now, what makes Beckett such a valuable player? I guess uh, his bees. Well, what do you think about people? <laughs> Wait a minute. The bees. He is the freshest honey. <laughs> Oh, what okay. you don't know about. He's what a you don't beekeeper. Know. I didn't know that. The faster guy sounds much different, but he has a honeypot stuck to his head. 
He had, a, he had a tiger next to him jumping up and down in his tail. Do you see what I watched on television during the day? <laughs> what is the poo bouncing around in his yard? Yes. Right. Well, what do you think about people singing Sweet Caroline down at Fenway? Yeah, it's great. You know, Neil Diamond is uh, he's from down under, so, you know, he... <laughs> Why is this whole... Good day, mate. <laughs> Crackling Rosie. <laughs> who, will, who will forget Neil Diamond and Crocodile Dundee? <laughs> That whole Brooklyn thing, a facade. The, the fish out of water stories. Well, everyone knows the jazz singer. The young man came all the way from Australia to make his hay. <laughs> yeah, it's great. You know, Neil Diamond is, uh, he's from down under, so, you know, he... Why is this so popular? Basically, before the Red Sox even played baseball, uh, Neil Diamond uh, performed Sweet Caroline here at Fenway. It wasn't called Fenway, but it was the same spot. <laughs> Before the Red Sox <laughs> no, 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 he may be right about that. I think that Neil Diamond is old enough for that. <laughs> he certainly uh, has kept his face in a condition that would not lead you to believe that. But The faster guy knows so much about the history of Boston. I really should sit down with him and talk about it someday. What do you think about Neil Diamond as a singer? Uh, he's great. Yeah, he's, he's OG. He's original. <laughs> now, why do you think baseball is... It's original gangster, yes. No, because that doesn't usually stand for original Gentile, and I don't think that's the case, Neil Diamond uh... <laughs> 69985, this guy sounds like Zolak in five years. <laughs> you know, ground briefs are real winner nowadays. <laughs> yes, they are. I need to find that. Now, why do you think baseball's been around for such a long time? Why is it still around today? Well, it's one of the more simpler sports. What makes it so simple? The size of the ball. <laughs> now, why is the size of the ball makes the game simple? Baseball was invented before basketball because the size of the ball. You know, I guess cavemen, cavemen only had, you know, such a small brain back in those days. <laughs> no one, no one in the cavemen days could even <laughs> conceptualize something as large as a basketball. And during that caveman times, Neil Diamond was actually singing Sweet Caroline, right? Where it was like Canterbury's Tales. Canterbury Tales. Everything was much more miniature. <laughs> right in the middle of this big field. You know, he was screaming because there were no microphones back there. We're hunting for animals for food and you know ground beef is really a winner nowadays <laughs> and, you know how many times have you seen excavations that bring up it's all it was all like legos back then <laughs> the faster guy has an answer for everything i'll tell you what do you think about the bruins do you think that they're going to make it to the playoffs this season i hope so now why do you think that the bruins decide to go with two over tim thomas he might be a little faster. Oh, oh yes. yes. There you go. Faster. Of course, there very important go. for a faster. goaltender to be fast. Faster. Well, listen, you're just point, what are you, pointing out the inaccuracies mm. of what he's saying? <laughs> Sorry. It's not the goal of this whole procedure. <laughs> <laughs> Let him talk. What makes him so fast? Well, he might be left-handed versus our right-handed, making him a little quicker. No. How many times have we learned left-handers? Way faster. Yes. Now, why is being left-handed better than being right-handed? Uh, because the left hand was invented after the right hand. So it makes him a little more, you know, futuristic. You know, more, more in the present time zone. Make it faster. <laughs> that's, that's the game that's winner. My, you know, we should you stop win. right now. That's my favorite uh, uh, faster that. guy <laughs> sentence, I think, ever. <laughs> <laughs> take take, take all that one. in. Being a lefty, I'm very happy to hear that. Look at you got I'm prepared. Two, you got two hands. <laughs> Take all that in. Can you imagine how people's <laughs> minds were blown back when people had two hands? Look at this futuristic right hand. Well, haven't you ever read the? the, the <laughs> haven't you, don't you know anything about evolution? The evolution of man. <laughs> we just had one stump. Yeah, there was everyone. In, it was a Jim Abbott situation, and then everyone magically grew. <laughs> I gotta hear that again. Because the left hand was invented after the right hand, so it makes him a little more, you know, futuristic, you know, more more in the present time zone. All right. Maybe you win. Listen, look back at the, look back at the pyro or at the hysteria album. <laughs> the hysteria album proves it. Look at how Def Leppard evolved. <laughs>
Was that what he had only his left hand? Yes, yeah. indeed. Uh, yeah. No, I know. He just right. lost the whole arm. I uh, know. I'm just saying, I forgot which one. Oh, which, which arm was I it? I don't know. Which arm I, it was. I couldn't tell you. Okay. You know, in Latin, sinister means left handed. Do you think people back then were jealous of people who were left handed? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Now, why is that? You know what? Do I'm the only one who wants to hit a dolphin? I know, when he tries to <laughs> yeah, drop knowledge. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It's this, a, that's a faster guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak this in. Well, uh, some people, you know, kept straight A's in school, and because they kept straight A's in school, they were allowed to play left-handed in hockey. Versus, you know, see average students who are stuck playing right-handed. Now, what do you think about the remake of <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street? What? Well. <laughs> I think Freddy Kroger's in town. You know, he's uh, he's living he's living it up, man. <laughs> it's the whole movie. It's like weekend with Bernie. at Bernie's. They're just taking Fred <laughs> he's partying on South Beach. Yeah, he's got a condo in Boca <laughs> that the guys are going down to. He's got two left hands. It's all crazy. He's still alive after all these. Movie. <laughs> <laughs> aye, aye, aye. That's a reaction everyone else has had too. So, you know, that's pretty straight down the middle for the faster guy. What makes Frederick Krieger such a bad guy? Why is he such like an icon when it comes to like horror movies? Uh, he's more of a sport enthusiast, fisherman, you know, professional fisherman. <laughs> I, I mean, really, he's an angler, uh, faster guy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the new Nightmare on Elm Street. Do is he's fisherman. He, listen, who hasn't got a Nightmare on Elm Street and uh, d uh, uh, the Angry Old Men movie? The yeah, grumpy, grumpy, grumpy Old, old men. men. Well, he uses the blades to you know gut the fish. Yeah. Who has who hasn't got in those two movies? Confused. <laughs> Walter Matthau is frightening. He's a grump. Now, why does killing and fishing? What what do they have in common? Well. When people fish, they kill fish. Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. <laughs> Back here with the dance floor. I mean... Faster, 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 faster. Back here with the dance floor. Let's <laughs> you cool. Someone questioning uh, which one's the faster guy? The one answering the questions <laughs> or the one answering them? Left hand was invented after the right hand. <laughs> All right, Brian Scalabrini <laughs> joins us.